Oh, 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 yo, you saw it. I know you saw it. I know you saw it. Good point, though. We're actually headed to go pick up Earl right now um, from hotel in downtown Atlanta. You guys ready? We're gonna head over to the CAA office who we're signed to as a business. And then after that, head to uh, TBC Sugarloaf, play a little golf today. We actually have our uh, spring collection that came out. This was one of the uh, polos, the all over script monogram. We have this one, then we have uh, two other polos that we came out with. Um, we're coming out with more polos later this year. And a lot of people were wearing it, you know, from all types of backgrounds. They love East Side Golf, it's crazy. What's good? What's up? Straight? Straight. Working. Can you please resend the invite? It's so much shit. A ton of work to be done, a ton of opportunities. We spent little to no money on marketing as far as like getting people to wear our stuff you know, or to support us. It was more of, you know, do they really want to wear it? You know, and why? I feel because the way that we explain how golf is to us, you know, a lane or a way that it's never been explained before. Now everybody's just gravitating towards it when they see our brand and they want to wear it. Folks kind of say, hey, I want to rep the brand. I want to rock the brand. Mm -hmm. And then we recognize that and we appreciate that. I feel like there needs to be really a to-do list for the company. So, I mean, you can put items to discuss. Um, I mean, that's a very long meeting. Or we could just put it in a doc because I don't even think we're going to get through all this. Each, each one of those buckets just get an hour and just make sure we have like an outcome. They don't see the grind usually. A lot of people don't see that. I mean, our, I would say business acumen here has, I mean, I would say exceeded everybody's, uh, what they thought our potential was. We just start with MLB and it's like, all right, the outcome for MLB is we want to have a plan for all-star game. And we also want to make sure if there's any other moments that we want to come out with. I mean, I, I don't know any other golfers that are running an apparel business. I'm glad people are seeing just how much it takes to get here where we are. That's a good list. That's a good list. We get one of those guys, it'll be good. We can promote it. Hey, come boom, boom, boom. You know, I just feel like the next steps, you know, we get this in the bag, we get it going. Me turning pro in golf, and then Earl actually teaching golf professionally again. Yeah. I mean, that shows, uh, once again, another avenue of what we can actually truly do. And then I think the only other thing for MLB, because Major League Baseball is over in October, it's just gonna be the question of, are we gonna come out with a collection this season? Kudos to the APGA, and I think the PGA Tour has been very supportive of the APGA Tour. But overall, it's like, we know what the issues are. Well, why do we keep spending dollars in these other areas? Cause see, you know, it's so expensive to get these guys out there. But the sad part, it has nothing to do with their talent. I think spring is better. Hello, PGA Tour. What are we gonna do? Like, we know what it is. We know how much it costs. Do we just continue to spend billions on junior golf? Or do we create a fund to help, you know, young, black, young minority golfers that are struggling, right? We want golf to grow, and the only way for golf to grow is to be honest about these stories and what's going on. No, I sent you to run the show. I didn't. Tony said, let me do it to you now. Send it to you now. Okay. Also, Nick Wade is up at TBC Sugarloaf for Wyatt. Okay. That's perfect. We sponsored Wyatt and another gentleman by the name of Jabir, and Wyatt made it all the way to the PJ Championship. And it's interesting because now it's like, other brands want to come in. The real reason why he signed with us was because we look at it like you're in, we bring you into our family. So I have one other question for All Star. I think it's just a target hit list. Obviously that includes CC, which I'm sure his schedule is going to be crazy. I think we might be one of the first golf companies to get to this point without a major corporation of the actual sport behind us. I mean, we're here to completely change the face of the game. BMW IX? I 
I play with both of you guys a lot. I need all mine now. I don't hit it as far as you two. You guys are holding no, I need all mine now. I need all of them. I haven't. You got it in your blood though, man. You don't need here, here it. It's just go. like riding a bike. I need bike. some. I need Nothing. some though. We're open and welcome to having conversations with anyone. But let's just have a real honest conversation about how you do something real and authentic and something impactful. Are we doing teams? That's like... Yeah, we could do teams. All right, we doing teams. Y'all want to do carts? Is that what you want to do? That's what I thought. Yeah, All right, we do carts. So we'll do $50 a hole. It's still about beating the drum of saying, hey, the PGA Tour and the PGA of America lack diversity, right? Like, we've been talking about it for a year, and we're going to continue to keep talking about it. Fresh out the airplane, my boy. Oh, man. We talking about it all, and that's literally what Eastside quote unquote represents. We run from people that always try to just put it in a box. You know, I really feel like I'm in a pro-am with the APGA players right now. Yo. Yeah. Yo. It just speaks volumes about the APGA Tour. If we want to see guys get across the finish line, we need to stop talking less about the game and talk about more about the resources. Oh, oh, oh. oh yo, you saw it. I know you saw it. I've been at it for a while, and it's about resources. You really need resources to keep it moving and keep it going and building that gap on diversity in golf because we need it. All even Look, going into the last this? hole. Oh, no. <laughs> even. Even going to the last hole. Yeah. We well, right where we started at. Now it's just time to, you know, turn things around. Let's get resources for these guys. Let's make golf more accessible. Take your time, or it's a lot of water out there. To have more minorities kind of come into play, more specifically, uh, people that look like us, like, yo, that's what it's all about. Can you imagine what life would be without this game? Like, it's wow. way deeper than yeah. just swinging a stick. In order for the game to go, we need diversity in golf, and this is a, a pretty cool avenue. Y'all look real hurt right now. We kind of cruise our way. Hold on, let me take off my hat for this one. Eventually, it will come together, and this is going to be something that is going to be everywhere. East side. Here we go. Hey. hey, where are we going, man? Where are we going? Yeah, all yeah, right, all right, man. Right, I don't man. know, man. Yeah, how much of a big one can we buy with 50? <laughs>